Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all super well today. As you can see from the background, we are going to unbox a few of Louis Vuitton items. So if you're interested, please keep watching. So as usual, we are going to divide the video into shoes, then handbag and ready to wear. I just want to let you know that all the items purchased uh, behind have been purchased from Louis Vuitton store in Vienna, Austria. Uh, the reason why is, first of all, they don't have all the items available in Australia. And secondly, all collection that arrived to Australia are so behind. I don't know why. Australia should a little bit pick up their game. Also, after my most love um, manager of Louis Vuitton uh, left, uh, I never found anyone who would be that uh, amazing and um, yeah she was the best she was the best salesperson that actually I've ever met in my life so since then I sort of lost the need to shop in the shops uh, so my lovely essay in Vienna just sent me all the collections pictures um, she models everything for me and then I order whatever I want so let's stop talking so much and let's get into unboxing. We start with the shoes. Uh, now, first pair of shoes comes from By The Pool collection. And if you watch my review of the By The Pool collection, you would know which shoes I have actually purchased. They do come in this box. Now, I remove all the packaging, guys, because it's just too much to unbox and all the stuff, all the receipts. I mean, by now, you may know that I do purchase in the stores that are all authentic items. If you um, want me to do the whole unboxing, let me know. In the next videos, I can do it. Today, I'm leaving shortly, so I'm already dressed and I want to wear two of the items from this uh, haul. That's why I'm doing the video. So, the first pair of shoes comes um, in, obviously, dust bags and... On my video, I always rave about uh, Louis Vuitton sneakers, so there is nothing else uh, to say about replacement shoelaces. Here they are, amazing, amazing time out sneakers from the By The Pool collection. Love them very much. Look at the colors. I mean, pink, yellow, you can't do anything wrong. I'm not sure if uh, the color picks up, but if not, I will just show them to you here. And I purchased them in my regular size 38, which is most of my shoes from Louis Vuitton, not all of them. They are from the calf skin embossed logos all over, but I thought, you know, the colors are quite settled. They are not right in your face. I mean, not that much. If you follow me on Instagram, which you should, I actually wore them with my Pangaea tracksuit, the purple one, and love, love, love it with the pink handbag. And I do have a pink handbag, yellow handbag, so I think these will be great. I even purchased like a new yellow suit, which uh, I think it will be great match too. So, love the sneakers. Next pair of shoes come in this big box and my previous video, Chanel unboxing, you saw me unboxing uh, the white Chanel loafers, which I really love. I haven't worn them yet. I mean, they're in white color, so... And we have a lockdown at the moment, so <laughs> nowhere to wear them. But I told you that I have purchased black ones too from different brands, and here we go. Look at these. Love, love them. It was a love at first sight, especially with the chains. I mean, when Prada loafers came on the market, I still wasn't sure because I'm not a loafer person. I had three pairs of loafers from Gucci, you know, and they were so popular. And I still have them, but I've never worn them. Never ever worn them. They're brand new, <laughs> still packed like from the shops. So uh, I didn't want Prada loafers, obviously, but I was still attracted to the like thick platform. You know, I love thicker platforms. Then summer came. In summer, you don't wear loafers, not really in Australia. And yeah, then this arrived. Now these loafers have not arrived to Australia. These are called Academy loafers. I'll show you the picture here and the code so you can look them up if you want them. Uh, they have 
still a few sizes available in Austria, I'm not sure other countries, you have to check it out. Uh, definitely not available in Australia. They do have different loafers, but they are a thinner platform, just different look. They don't have this big chain, so not really what I was after. Love it, guys. These loafers actually, even so they are so chunky, you know, they have a chunky heel um, and the platform. I don't know how they do it, but they really make your foot and leg look still nice, not this thick and chunky. That's what I love about it. I think because they're very structured and if you see the front is quite narrow. So I think that's how they achieved it. For people with a wider foot, I don't think you can wear them. They are not the most comfortable shoes. I think I need to break them in, which I really hate and I never purchase shoes that I need to break in, but I really love them. I can let you know in the next video if uh, they are a bit more comfortable or not. However, they are stiff. I think because they are structured. It is a calf leather. They told me they will stretch. I don't think so. And I tell you why. It is because of the chain. The chain will hold the width of the shoe. I mean, the leather can stretch, but the chain will never stretch. So unless you rip this one off, uh, I don't think it will stretch so much. So definitely who's got wide foot, I wouldn't recommend. Would I recommend? I love them. They are in my regular size 38. Now I want to only wear them with stockings or, you know, sort of style or barefoot. So I would not put socks in otherwise it may be too tight they are just right whereas sneakers i still have some space in even so they're 38 just to compare the sizing but i think as well because this is much narrower than the sneakers last pair of shoes come in this big box and it is quite heavy and with this purchase i learned my lesson if you fall in love really falling in love with the item at first sight purchase it never go for a second choice and um, these actually these are boots i uh, tried them on if you watch my vlog shopping vlog and haul from europe last year or august september you would have seen them i tried them on in the store love them then i went to pick up my bag that they've ordered it in the python pm like twist mini twist and uh, they've just received a new collection so i tried the boots and i purchased those instead of this now i arrived home and you know we had summer so didn't think too much of it but then the winter arrived and i still had them in mind i really wanted them so i contacted my sa they still had them in stock <sighs> And I just had to have them and I love them these are the boots and yes they are very much like Bottega Veneta but I tell you the difference so look at them very much a Bottega Veneta style if you know what I'm talking about however I tried the Bottega Veneta in the store they were so heavy, they were so heavy and really uncomfortable actually get in. So I decided against, especially because I love comfort. I love the minimalistic logo. Look, it's just a little logo, logo here. And then you've got little logo here and the canvas here. So who doesn't know Louis Vuitton um, boot collection, they would have no idea they're Louis Vuitton. So I love the minimalistic thing about these. They are in calfskin leather. Now this got some stretch because it's elastic. So great to get in, great to get out. The only, I would say, problem, you need to try them on. Uh, they run uh, big. Uh, I had to size them one size. These are in 37 and I still have like a room, you know, because you need to wear socks in winter, obviously. So I purchased them in size 37. I'm really happy that I actually tried them in Europe because, um, yeah, I would definitely get too big size because even 38 and even 37 and a half was big. Very happy to get them. Again, 
much much lighter than Bottega Veneta boots uh, it's you can't even compare it these are very comfortable very comfortable the the loafers are stiffer yes this is very comfortable they do come in canvas if you are interested but I don't think canvas is as comfortable as the leather if these boots they would make in brown or uh, just beige leather I would definitely go for it um, that's how much I love them the canvas it's just too much logo for me like especially on the shoes um, when you've got the whole outfit and I usually love colors even monotone colors yes but hmm, logos on shoes unless it is like sneakers uh, hmm, no so love love this and i can't wait to wear them we get to the back finally and again this is from the by the pool collection i know i opened it too late i got it a while ago i will never get the chance to do so and yes if you watch the review you would already guess what i got even so it is a little bit out of my style never purchased this style of bag never purchased this color the buy the pool collection whoever you guess that i purchased something pink i haven't instead of the sneakers pink and yellow here we go this is the marshmallow hobo in this cream saffrony color which i fall in love with now the reason actually why I purchased it is the vest because this I purchased a while ago and it's got this yellowish logo and I haven't had anything in that color so I thought this would be a great match. Didn't know if it's too much logo but it's not as bad because it is a creamy color with saffron. Now it is radiant color from lighter to darker so it's not right in your face uh, i mean not too much uh, it's not like a very very up there color haven't had hobo before so we'll see how we go never purchased the imprint leather from louis vuitton so not sure how it wears but sometimes you have to purchase what you love um, so do i care i do if i purchase expensive bag i expect it to last a little bit longer <laughs> Uh, that's why I love from Louis Vuitton epi leather canvas that it's so easy you don't need to worry about it so lighter color imprint leather I'm not sure I'll let you know how I go but I rotate my handbags quite a lot so I won't be wearing it like every day so that's why I'm not that worried about it now the length is 24 centimeter the height is 22 and the width is 13 centimeters so still like a small handbag i thought it's quite nice i like the gold hardware you know i like gold gold hardware is great it does have a strap that uh, like you can put it here in now according to the website the drop is 47 and then you can adjust it uh, to the maximum of 52. i will never wear it but it is there so it is nice and it's got a microfiber lining which is really nice too this one most made in france it's got one poking at the back uh, what else can i tell you not sure haven't worn it yet but i want to take it out today so that's why i want to unbox it for you and we will see how we go with it to finish the unboxing we have one more item from uh, ready to wear and it does come in uh, this little box and uh, what we have here is again from by the pool collection and it is this t-shirt i mean it's very simple it's 100 percent cotton so great a material again the logo which i want to move myself away from so much logo but then when i purchased this for winter i thought that this for summer would be great obviously i want to tone it down just with a denim simple denim shorts or denim skirt or denim pants whatever uh, just one color nothing much the logo again comes from lighter color to the darker so obviously this darker one will be in the pants or skirt so it is not that much in your face and I think the saffron color is yeah very settled color so I thought it would be nice again I'm usually French size 36 uh, this t-shirt I took in size small and you will see how it fits 
So guys, that was it from today's haul. I hope you enjoyed it. If yes, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would love you to join my YouTube family. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And I hope to see you in my next video. Have a lovely day and take care of yourself. Ciao.